Greetings, mortals. I am the fallen Shogun. It says I've reduced 20% due to reloading after a battle. I saved and rebooted the game. Anyway, we are back in the Archean order. I have updated to the experimental branch of the Archean order. Archean order. Archeus order. The Archeus order. And that means something. I'm not quite sure what it means, but apparently frigates and fighters are a bit more receptive and more combat capable. Whether that is the true is a different matter, but we're now running on the experimental branch of the Archean Order. If you want to get it yourself, you're going to have to go to the Nexus and download it manually. It's on, ne you know, it's on the Nexus section where all the mods are. It is not officially on the download link yet. So I'm trying that, seeing how it goes. And we are back in. Now, I don't know if it's deleted any of my ships. It looks like Starjackal, Zombie, Moses, Nuka, Golid, Spiel, Lofi, Faustus, Welsh, Morthen, and this one has not been named. So we're down to ten ships of glorious sizes. It's just the graphics. Does everything in the back look blurry to you? And we are still out here in the depths. We are still hanging out near the Thulan Raider base because we still need more money. Money? And, of course... We're still making like 5k per kill. Which is an awful lot of money. Like we've still got like 96k. I've even repaired some of my ships. Some of these ships have now been fully repaired. I think three of them. And we are getting better, shinier, more powerful equipment. And we're about to get a little bit more. So we're going to go in, kill these guys off. Let's not deploy you two. And a big issue we had was the... The glass cannon sunder I had was the only one of its kind. As far as I can tell, it was a special variant, which is good. But I let it die because how bad it was. So maybe we'll find another one in the field, but we'll have to see. What is that weapon? What are you using? Basilisk cannon? Mass driver? I think it's the basilisk cannon you just shot that. The shockstorm rocket launcher. I don't know what half the gear of my ships is, so I put it on there to make sure things just worked. There we go. Kill the only thing which can actually do some damage. So now I've got a lot of ships on the field. We're actually starting to do significant amounts of useful damage, which is good. Although my ship still has an issue. Whereas it goes to a speed of 20 if it overfluxes, which is an issue. A big ish issue, because that means I can't actually finish off a kill, because I can't keep up with the target. I think it's built in with this ship type. I'm going to have to have a look. Which, you know, is a bit unfortunate, but whatever. I do like to change the gear of this thing out a little bit more. It's no, not got the weaponry I'd like to see on this kind of ship. But that is just what it is. To be fair. A big issue we also have is the Lashes. Their special ability supercharges their weapons, but takes their shields down. It's why they are taking so much damage. Because their first engagement, they always drop the shields to get extra levels of damage upon the target. So, yeah, lashes are now more powerful, but also on initial engagement, glass cannoning. Obviously, after the uh, ability wears off, they bring their shields back online. But until that stage, yes, they are taking a lot more damage. Now, apart from that, I think we're doing okay on the small-scale engagements. There is a few factions I'd like to engage and destroy. We've yet to get to that level first, but, you know, we're getting there. I'm going to go claim victory here. Who cares? Let him go. Consider ship recovery? Eh, whatever. But that's where we currently are. Our goals are aligning with the stars. Another 100k. Thank God there's two bounties going on here. And I think it might be time to buy something better. So two light cruisers, a heavy regular cruiser, one destroyer, and a couple of basic cheap carriers. We could have bought ourselves the, uh, the Mora, but... But we did not. Now outside of that, don't you dare. Little sods. Outside of that, I don't know what our current goals are. Like there's bounties active, like there's 5k here. There's another, another two weeks of this left. I don't think we should stay here though, because I think that's going to run out. Now there's some basic stuff going on. Let's see, 30 days for the adamantine. There's a bounty here we're meant to be doing for 55k. Eh. Maybe I'll just let that run out. I'd actually like a good target I know I can destroy for 100k give or take. Now there's a few out here in the depths, 
We may have to have an exploration of the depths because, quite frankly, I don't know what is or is not out there. But, God's damn. We are coolly okay. Coolly happy. Coolly carrying on. Yeah, the background definitely looks blurrier than I remember. Maybe that's what's causing me to have a few issues here. Allow to scan. Oh, no, no, don't want to talk way out. Allow to scan. Yeah, it's almost like someone's been stealing resources off of you. Probably me. 12k. Yoink. Wait, in that engagement, I lost 40 soldiers? You lost about 40 soldiers. My gods. We really take their hits, don't we, when we have uh, troops die? Anyway, we're going to move on. It's time to pick a target. Right now, we actually are non-aligned. We have no factions liking us. Apart from, obviously, these locals. We have no commissions currently ongoing. We are not commissioned with any faction. That's um, next Evelyn, for those wondering. And we have no real problems. So what we're going to do is cause a problem. I am still debating just doing a bit of exploration. There's obviously going to be new things out there. Some new factions we need to have a look at as well. But what I want, genuinely, the Adamantine Consortium? Where is the new people? Psychor? Psychor? So maybe pick up the Logic Church. Although with this mod I don't actually have um, access. Oh, that's 4k. Access to the big massive cathedral ships. Which as you know, I absolutely love. Okay, there's a personal bounty here for 90k? Where's this? All just basic small stuff right now. Here we go. Independent privateers, they're friendly, let's not engage them. Ludic Path, however, I will engage. It's a shame there's no bounty on these guys. But whatever. It's a bit of an issue. Maybe I should pick up a commission just so I can actually get like a few K on certain targets. I think the tri attack will hate them so we can get some engagement there. But no. Right now, it's just simply a bit of an exploration and seeing what's going on. We don't really have much in the way of weaponry and equipment. They're okay on small scale. There's a lot of carriers. And the Trine and the uh, Ludic Church and Ludic Path, that's actually what they kind of have. Because obviously they're usually a bit more insane in what they have. Come on. Yeah, there's the issue. I've slowed down again. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So outside of this, what do we do, what do we do, and why are we doing it? Mm. I don't know at the moment. Okay, you look slower. The Crucible class? Okay, you've lost most of your engines. Why is the front of my ship black smoke? Have I been lost? Okay, that's not engaging that. That's dead. One engagement over there. And a Sunder? Oh, a Hammerhead. This will be interesting. I've been debating buying some Hammerheads for my force. I mean, I like them. They're not the best ships out there, but I do like them. There we go. Oh my god, these things are fast, aren't they? Oh, what is that? You're not allowed that! Oh, it's, oh yeah, just dodge everything, why don't you? But the big thing I like about exploring new mods, total conversions, you know, regular factions, stuff I've never seen before, is finding new and unique stuff. Like, one of the big things about this mod, this total conversion, the fact that a lot of weapon systems can fire over other weapon systems. You know, they can fire over ships more fighters, stuff like that. It really changes how the game runs for the regular player. Obviously, if you do it normally, you probably won't notice because you haven't had too much experience, but I spent too long with regular mods which just had the factions. Obviously, I'm still using some of the main ones like Next Serolin, which changed things, but yeah, I spent so much time with the regular factions. This feels really different to me. I'm not sure how much I like it or don't like it right now. I need a bit more time with that. 
But I'm enjoying what I've got. I'm massively enjoying what I've got. Come on. Come here. I definitely could change out one of my torpedo launchers. One's a single shot. I also need to change out my fighters. Those two ones I've sent out, those are point defense heavy fighters. I've only got one actual attack wing in my grouping. The rest are just fighter, anti-fighter, anti-missile. There we go. Yeah, these ones over here, which are the Hercules class heavy gunships. What is it, these? The warrior class gunships? Anyway, they're gunships rather than these point defense gunships in the back. It's going to escape, isn't it? Who is that? A PD clone. Uh, a PD clone. There we go. We've officially wiped them all out. And I think that's officially it for me. I helped these guys out. Screw them all. Let's move on to our next target. Now, outside of minor targets, what we actually do need is a bigger, active, large-scale combat. Too many. Target. Attempt to disengage. Move into engage. Full force. Okay, you and you both engage. Escort me. Turn, turn, turn. Oh my gods. Okay, let's take out the uh, buffalo. Always hit the buffalo. Or not? Oh, my engines are gone. My engines are gone. Actually, sod it. Let's cancel that and have you two both engage that. I need my engines back, guys. I'm drifting off the map. Okay, the mules are actively engaging a buffalo. So there's a few interesting changes in combat capabilities. And I am debating. Can I win in... I might have to do a run. Can I win with just... Or oh, nuka cola With just uh, transports. And uh, not transports. With just uh, trade ships. You know, combat freighters, stuff like that. That might be an interesting run. We'll have to see. We'll have to survive. I really want that Prometheus down. We need to kill a few targets. Okay, you two cancel that. There we go. Okay, cancel that. Everyone's engaging weirdly. So the mules are combat freighters, so they should be pulling back into battle. Hopefully. That Prometheus Mark II really needs to be engaged. Okay, they've taken that. We've got a minus 10% weapons range. Okay, you two need to pull back to here. The speed is going down where? Up north. Okay. Come on. We need some of these ships to die. Zombie Moses is engaging. Good. Okay, they've grouped. Okay. Okay, those two should be able to engage that kite. Okay, we're engaging, we're engaging. Target analysis plus. That's not a good sign, this needs to die. Can't keep up with it. I need to sort out this ship. I literally can't use it if it goes to 10, 20 speed every time I engage a target. I am literally a, sh a shielding ship. I actively can't engage. I get the initial salvo, then as soon as they escape, I just slow down. Also, I didn't check if there was any bounty for these guys. I think some of the factions must hate them. Uh oh. Turn, 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 turn! Oh! 
Oh my god! Engage, engage, engage! Bring that thing down! Well, I used to have a front of my ship. Less so now. That capital ship needs to die. Genuinely needs to die. Trouble is, we're being slowly surrounded. Okay, let's take out the carrier. Okay, uh, you need to take out that. That buffalo's coming back. Okay, you kill that. You four kill that. We got some engaged. That's coming round. No, 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 no. I can't take another salvo from the front of you. I'm wondering about torpedoes. They seem to swerve away from the front. I think I'm trying to avoid actively avoid point defence weapons. No, 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 no. Stop that. Kill that now. We're about to lose the Morthan. My engines went down. So there's a few things I definitely need to know about. Like, why do torpedoes now actively avoid the targets? Stuff like that. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. There we go. I am down to one third health. I think it was a torpedo which hit me in the rear. Oh, it's that kite! Cancel. Cancel. This is difficult. Ships are a lot more mobile on this. And they also have a little bit of momentum. It's a lot harder for a ship to turn and stop completely now than it used to be. So once you start moving in a direction, you're usually moving there. Like You see how slow it was for me to just stop? Momentum's much more significant. Especially for bigger ships. Oh, are you Morthan? You are. You're the pirate one, I keep forgetting that. There we go, the Sword of Damocles has been killed. Oh, no. Some of the noise of the weaponry makes me think someone's knocking on my door. Come on. I need to kill some more of these small ships. What is that noise? Oh my god. Okay, how are we doing? Engagement's going well. The Colossus is nearly dead. The Lash is actually out of resources. Okay, Lash is a prime murder target. Oh, it's even got a captain. Yeah, definitely a prime target then. Good. What is this? A rhino? Oh, the rhino. I keep looking at that. as a prime target for an actual, you know, ownership. But no, mostly what I'm doing these days is trying to get used to um, tactics, seeing what the enemy forces have. But actual tactics, for especially this ship, this one which just slows down, is insanely difficult to get used to for me. Like, I know I'm a... Um, more of a slow combat player, but not to the point where I'm not actually moving. Especially for, like, an eagle. An eagle is my high-speed engage and escape ship. You know, it's got the firepower to bring to bear, but the speed to get out if need be. I'm just not used to it being this level. Oh! Okay, another one down. Okay, been overloaded there. Oh! 
The Morthin might be going down. Okay, I've lost. I'm going to have to rebuild the mule. Morthin, no! Yeah, that main capital definitely needs to die. Oh, the zombie Moses taking hits. The zombie Moses might actually die. Come on. The big one's going down, losing the second mule. It's full on targeting the second mule. We've lost both mules. There goes our transport lines. Look, I can't keep up because I've slowed down again. I, I don't know why. I'm going to have to see what's causing it to slow down so significantly. Maybe it's just the ship itself, in which case it needs a speed boost. Also, I'm very annoyed. This ship has killed two of mine and severely damaged another two. Those weapons on it! My god! It's just a converted transport. The enemy fleet is trying to leave. This ship is literally trying to escape. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, let it escape, let it escape! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh god! Okay, we're taking that. Oh my god, I had one health left. Okay, the Morthen's alive. The Lofi's dead as well. So how useful is this bloody thing? I'm taking it. Sod it. We lost 400 people. 400 people died in that battle. Oh my god. However, this, this is going to be useful. Let's see, we gained some points, people liked us, gained 200,000 experience, and we didn't get anything else. So, great. It's That's it, we're leaving. We're leaving. Uh, and yeah, that was a good test and showing of how things work. So, God, 842. This is going to be a fun one, but... Before we go anywhere, why is this so useless? Stabilise drive. Why are you so slow? I don't get it. It must just be a build of the ship. What's the speed of this thing? I know, I don't know. Top speed, 18, minus 22. Why? Minus 22? Are you telling me it used to be even faster? Is it this? Well known. No idea. No idea. No, take care. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. And I'll be seeing you sometime soon. Stay safe.